The market started, we were in the cafeteria and we was able to get some toilet paper. And we got quite a lot of cat toilet paper. So we went into the cafeteria and we, we sold the toilet paper and it went really, really quick. Uh, and we thought, okay, well, there was a need for this. So then we started trying to see what else we can get. And we got hamburger and we got some chicken and we put that into a freezer in the cafeteria. And again, that was really popular. Uh, so then we carried on looking and we found more products that we could get and stuff that you couldn't find in the store and the prices we were getting were really, really good. So then we uh, started looking for what we can do next. So we did a pop-up store on the seventh floor, uh, took a storage space and just kind of loaded it with refrigerators and freezers and, and uh, then we opened up a store, did it twice a week to start with, in the morning or in the afternoon morning and then again in the evening. And then uh, that served its need, and we, we, we were doing pretty significant business in there. Uh, 120 to 140 people a day. The whole purpose was to keep our staff as much as possible out of having to visit the stores, food stores as much as possible. I mean, you can't take everything away, but uh, we were able to take a lot of it away. Definitely involved my managers, because my managers were who ran the store, and they stepped up and volunteered, which was great. Uh, our stock person, uh, was great. I mean, you know, they're the ones that were running up and restocking, and as we were running out, we're running up and down. Um, so, no, everyone was really good. We went to engineering on the Monday, and when we said pop up store, we truly meant a pop up store because we went to them on Monday and said, We want to open the store on Thursday. I think it was Thursday, and it was an empty space. And by the time we got to Thursday morning we, we opened the store, we had refrigerators, freezers, there was probably six or seven outlets that had to be hung and they were hung in from the ceiling and we also had a data line so that we could run the payroll deduct um, and all that happened in like in a flash. It, it, everyone dropped everything they were doing and made it happen. Uh, it, it, was, it was quite spectacular how we made that work. Well, we kept looking at needs and what was what things were struggling in the deep in the area and what our staff needed. And um, one of the things no one was able to eat out because of everything was closed and all they were doing was takeout orders from local restaurants. So we were hearing grumbles; they didn't want to do that. The weight wasn't too good. The timing wasn't right, um, and it was expensive. So we started doing takeout meals, which was a meal for four. And it was an entree and a vegetable and a dessert and it was all four meals for 20 bucks. It wasn't very expensive. Uh, again, I, I was at the dog park <laughs> and, uh, and, and someone that came up to me and said uh, how wonderful we were doing that and how great that was. So, so it wasn't just, you know, what we did. It, it, the community, even though some didn't participate and some did, uh, were excited about the, what we were doing for our staff and, and it kind of said what we are here and that is we're a family and we take care of each other. We, we lined up all these eight pallets of, and gave them away and the cars pulled in and we had people coming from the other, in the hospital and we was able to skip it away. I wasn't, I, I didn't really hear about it from the beginning actually it was uh, Kim Everett's husband that told Kim Everett in materials about that they were doing that at, at Helping His Hands and that we were a charity and maybe we could look into doing that. And, so King gave it to me, I was able to contact Prairie Farms and find out a bit more about it. And it turns out, yeah, we, we qualified to do this. So we started doing 240 cases the first week, which was four pallets. <laughs> it sold out or ran out, I mean, didn't sell it, but it ran out in 45 minutes. And Obviously there was a lot of disappointed people, but I had no idea that it was going to go anything like that. So we doubled it the following week, so 480 cases. Um, so that worked out really well. Our role is to take care of patients primarily, but our role in food service is also to take care of our staff and also to take care of the community. You know, our cafeteria is open. Well, it's kind of open right now, but it will be open. Uh, for the community to use. We, we have great food and we have great prices. We don't sell at a large profit in the cafeteria. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for everybody to take advantage of that. The teamwork that we have in the department, I know we have, but with the takeout meals and with the milk and with the store and with everything we've done, it, it, it proved the teamwork in the department. Uh, and through this whole COVID 
mess do I say mess but this whole COVID mess you know um, my staff pulled together we've had some challenges with staffing and different things that we've had to deal with as well as the stress of coming to work every day knowing that it's possible you could get sick and they've all come to work my call outs have gone significantly down um, my turnover is significantly down or has been um, and and they made it work. They were here for us and everybody. So uh, no, that, that is what I learned. I learned the strength of my department.